Hey YouTube, this is Sam at Zars Farm. It's been a long time since I've done an update. Uh, had some uh, not so lucky stuff go my way with the rabbit tree, and normally I do a lot of my update videos when I'm doing the stuff when I'm producing litters of bunnies. And uh, this whole time, I have not been producing bunnies. Uh, just found out that the uh, store that I've been purchasing my uh, rabbit pellets from um, just had a recall. I could not figure out. Basically, long story short, I lost all my stock. My basic stock that I had starting off, uh, my New Zealand whites that I got down in Arizona uh, are all gone. Everything that I had uh, was sick, died, uh, not producing, just I could not figure out what was going on. Uh, I thought it was something I was doing and I couldn't figure it out looking online all this stuff and then just found out the other day that the uh, rabbit pellets um, it was the IFA brand rabbit pellets 50 pound bags um, had been uh, apparently super high in vitamin D and uh, I guess obviously um, not good for the rabbits uh, so this is all like I said this is basically starting all new this is the reset button and uh, he's basically my original ones uh, these were the second round of them so I saw my red buck uh, and then I purchased this in the middle of all that madness uh, the broken uh, black buck and then I just recently bought this guy uh, he's a chinchilla buck so that's Vegas this is now Vegas number three hopefully it sticks I lost two of my Vegas's because of that feed which really sucked um, and then here's a chinchilla doe um, she's been bred to my broken black buck old jackpot uh, what's her name uh, we got her name is Lovelock and then I bought three Rextos. And they're like four months, so I'm gonna wait to like six, seven months. They're like a, you know, they're not as big as the New Zealands and stuff, but uh, it's all I had. I'm not driving down to Phoenix again to get the New Zealand Whites, so I'm kind of just having to deal with what I have within driving range of reason. Uh, I went to Kingman and got these ones from a breeder down in Kingman. Here's the, uh, other chinchilla doe that's Sparks. Uh, I'll breed her as soon as um, she has her litter. Got to try and get back in the cycle of having litters available. Um, so I still do have the lines from my original stock. This is a doe from, I believe it's Mina. She was bred with the red buck and she had a litter of eight and basically turned out brown and black. Those will be available in a couple weeks. And this is Ely. She's uh, New Zealand white, red, and champagne. So she's a little bit of everything. And she was bred to my red buck. And she had eight as well. She kind of has a couple brown ones and then uh, fawn colored, I guess. There's one like more red colored in there. Those will be available in a couple weeks. What's up? And then here's another one. So basically, and this one's from, this is Blue Diamond, I think. But that broken black female back there, I'm going to keep her. Um, she had, this was out of the litter of nine. So the broken black doe, I'm going to keep as a breeder. And then uh, here's the rest of the litter of nine. These ones are for sale. So I'm selling these ones. So that's it. So yeah, um, IFA has been totally helpful. Um, they're reimbursing me for the feed through basically the recall. So if anybody had purchased it, the recall is from March to September. And uh, they've been totally helpful, uh, reimbursing me for the feed. Um, they're gonna reimburse me for uh, my stock that I lost all that so IFA um, has been totally cool with all this so so far I mean checking in the mail yet or cashed but uh, they've been very helpful and very nice uh, throughout this
I'm just really happy. I really thought it was me. I didn't know what was going on. Um, just couldn't figure it out. You know, been doing it for three years. I haven't been doing it forever, but I never had a problem like that, and I just couldn't figure it out. So I was definitely relieved that it wasn't something I was doing. It just sucks that, you know, rabbits had to suffer like that and, you know, everything. So, but we're getting started back up again, filling up all these cages and uh, go from there. Um, we're in December, so everything's, we haven't had a good freeze yet. So, um, pulled down, the cucumbers are gone. Cucumbers did really good. Um, carrots, these are all carrots. I've been pulling them out, feeding them to the does with the babies, and then uh, just leave this all open. Um, strawberries got, you know, they're running, putting runners all over the place and spreading and growing, but uh, I only got strawberries off of them uh, at the first part of the year when it started warming up. I don't know what happened. Uh, this is, was the second year having this raspberry bush. Uh, still no raspberries. So I think I'm gonna yank that thing. He's done. Uh, this is the two tomato trees. These things are friggin' ginormous. Uh, the pear tomatoes, the smaller ones, are still ripening. But uh, I think I'm gonna have a bunch of these uh, big boys that are just gonna be green. Uh, I've been pulling a couple and they're ripening on their own, but they're not the same when it, you know, they don't ripen. When they ripen naturally, they obviously taste better just not the same when they get pulled and ripen. And so, but they're starting to die off a little bit. You can see a few of the ones in here. Been getting a good amount off these plants though. Uh, let's go over here. Chickens. I think I'm gonna have to do a reset on these bad boys too. They're just, uh, I'm keeping them outside all the time. I had them on where they're going in and out of uh, the coop and then keeping them on a light schedule where they're still getting full uh, light for 15 days or 15 hours. But I'm just keeping them out here now and they're just, they're not producing as many eggs as I want. Um, I don't even remember if I've done an update video with these goats. These are uh, two pig 